Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going over the Thursday price picks plays for NFL between the not the best game. We got the Commanders against the Chicago Bears. Looks like Carson Wentz is going to play. Just got that news a little bit ago. So he was questionable with a shoulder issue. But so we have Wentz against Fields. Go ahead and give you guys five props. We did end up bouncing back nicely last on the last price picks video between the Chiefs game, Chiefs Raiders with the four out of five there. See if we can do the same. If not, get a complete sweep. Got five props that I'm going to share in this video. As always, if you enjoy the content, appreciate it for the like button for me. Subscribe if you have not already. Check out the website if you want to join. Check out Twitter for updates and to stay connected. Those links are down below in the description. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first prop I want to go ahead and give you guys is a couple of running back props we're going to look at. Uh, going to the receiving yards. Start off by taking the over 14.5 receiving yards. From David Montgomery. Uh, he came back nicely last week after being hurt for a bit and missing a couple weeks. He had 62 receiving yards on four catches. He also got into the end zone on the ground. After it looked like Herbert might take a little bit more of the work away from Montgomery. Uh, last week Montgomery played 72% of snaps and a lot of passing situations as well. Uh, so it seems like at least for now it's still going to be David Montgomery. He is the better blocker, although Herbert has shown maybe a little bit more explosiveness. But I don't think there's a clear advantage between one and the other. Montgomery is the better blocker, so you'd expect him to be down in the game in more passing situations, which would definitely help his receiving yards. Another over-receiving yards I like is J.D. McKissick. It's at 19.5. Uh, so this one also, I, I think, looks pretty solid. We saw Brian Robinson make his return, and he only played, he was on a big, snap count uh he only played like nine he got nine carries uh had a, like 22 yards i believe it was all right he's gonna get his feet wet get his probably push that a little bit more although it is a short week so we'll see he might hopefully get like 10 to 12 touches this week but mckissick is still gonna be a guy that's his role isn't gonna change too much i'd say with brian robinson i don't know if ron Rivera will trust robinson in, in very much passing situations at least yet and mckissick has always been known for a very good back on third down situations just with the ability to catch the ball give you some speed potentially some big plays if he's able to get out open in some space and last week he led the trio in snaps he played 26 offensive snaps for a 41 percent snap share gibson played 32 and brian robinson played 29 so this week you'd probably expect brian robinson to jump in front of gibson whereas mckissick will probably still get a handful of carries but really I think he had seven catches last week on seven targets. He's going to be involved in the passing game, and this number is very low. And he's cleared it pretty easily in at least three games this year. And one he hit by just one yard, and then Dallas he missed by just a few. So those are the two running backs. I think from both sides, you can at least take the receiving props. They are probably my favorite out of all of them. Another over-receiving prop I like is Terry McLaurin. So he's still been a bit quiet this year, still waiting for him to break out. He had like good yardage games, but in terms of touchdowns, haven't really been there. John Dotson dealing with a hamstring issue, and uh, he missed last week. We saw Diami Brown catch two long touchdown passes from Carson Wentz. And Terry McLaurin's number is at 54.5. He hit this number pretty easily last week at 76. And with um, them missing um, John Dotson, we saw Terry McLaurin play 98% of snaps last week. Samuel played 90%. Dami Brown played 32, and Cam Sims also played a bunch. He played 59. So I really don't expect the way that he's not practicing and the rookie, John Dotson, not to play this week. We'll see. We'll get that update probably tomorrow before lock or maybe today. But I still like McLaurin over 54 and a half receiving yards. Probably going to be a bit ugly game. We're, we're still getting a discount on some of these props, especially like McLaurin's number being pretty low, uh, especially if they're missing Jahan Dotson. Samuel's just a little bit below McLaurin. I still probably like McLaurin a, a bit more, but Samuel's also been involved, and he's been a factor in red zone, and he's gotten a good amount of touchdowns already this year. Looking at over fantasy, take the over on the quarterback, Justin Fields. Carson Wentz in play as well, uh, but at the fact that Fields is at home, the Washington defense is just super brutal, especially against the pass, so maybe Fields will be able to get a couple of touchdown passes if not at least one, you know he's still going to be a factor with his legs. Maybe he can run in one. Uh, but he definitely has the advantage being at home. And 
Washington's defense is a lot worse than Chicago's. They're probably one of the worst defenses in football. And I don't even mind taking Carson Wentz now that we know he's playing over 14 fantasy. Uh, but these are the four that I like so far. And then last one, we're going to take a, an over punting. Over five punts for Tressway. Uh, this Washington team, they've struggled all season in terms of turnovers. Wentz has thrown a lot of touchdowns. He's thrown 10 already. Uh, but uh, times that they're not throwing touchdowns, really a lot of punting. Haven't done much in terms of field goal opportunities this year for them. And looking at just the last handful of games, uh, it's, it's been four straight games where he's gotten at least, at least six punts. Five would be a push. Chicago's defense only forced two punts last week um, against the Vikings, but the week before that they had five punts given up. Um, that was against the Giants, and just the, the Vikings were at home. They put up points. Probably expect it to be a more sloppy game, more, and both these offenses aren't the best, so don't even mind taking, like, Gill over four and a half punts, but trust why I feel better about him just because of the fact that he's on the road and, you know, Wentz is struggling a good amount, and he's not getting a lot of praise from the coach, if you guys have heard about that. But that's what I got for this price picks for Thursday. Not the best game, obviously, but still can make the same amount of money if we hit the four out of five or five out of five, so that's all we're looking for. David Montgomery over 14.5 receiving yards. J.D. McKissick over 19.5 receiving yards. Terry McLaurin over 54.5 receiving yards. Justin Fields over 13.5 fantasy. And Tressway over 5 punts. So best of luck. Let me know what other props you guys like for this week. Thank you for watching. And stay tuned for the DraftKings and FanDuel video. Probably have that later today or most likely tomorrow. But best of luck, and I'll see you all next time.